What's up, Gemini's? Okay, so look, this is only the tip of the iceberg. You literally have seen nothing yet. If you think, oh, okay, you know, I had some victories before. I had some, you know, I had some triumphs. I had some some good times. In comparison as to how your life is about to change and how good it's about to get for you, you're going to be like, yo, those were good. Those were good times. But these are even better times. These are even greater times. You're about to create even better memories, okay? Okay. Where you're headed, I mean, I'm just seeing a complete, I'm seeing it like a tropical island. You could just call it like paradise, right? Where the water is just fine. The weather is perfect. The the wind is blowing. It's breezy. Maybe some of y'all finna take a trip or a vacation. Maybe some of y'all, you know, maybe building an oasis of your own. But this is just the beginning. Now, if this is not material things, this is you, you have no idea. I've been getting this lately so strong in my spirit. The call to greatness is getting very, very loud. Okay. I don't know if you've been feeling it. I don't know if you've been hearing the ringing. I don't know if you've been having the dreams, but the call to greatness is loud right now. Those callings, these assignments, stepping up to the plate, putting yourself on the front line for your generation and all the generations coming after you and even the generations honoring that became, came before you. You know what I'm saying? You honoring the generations that came before you. And, and this is how they're going to honor you as well. Um, now we got some cards that want to jump out. Okay. And, and that's what I'm feeling too. Like, um, the tip of the iceberg, if you know how it is, I'm seeing the iceberg right now. It's just a little bit right here. But when you go underneath Gen Gemini, some people have absolutely no idea what you are made of. I'm seeing a real big boat and it's coming towards the iceberg and the boat is like, nah, it's cool. I'm gonna just knock that little piece off. It'll be all right. But they don't realize how solid the foundation is underneath. They don't realize how big, how much of a giant you are underneath. They may see just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to you. And they may wonder how you so strong, how you stand so tall. But they have no idea. If they just take one peek up under that water, they will see why you are unmovable, why you ain't breakable unbreakable, unshakable, unstoppable. You, you almost invincible at this time. I don't know if you can feel it, but I feel it for you. And if you don't feel it now, you're going to feel it soon. Okay. So this card jumped out and flipped over. It's the Knight of wands. Okay. So this can either be how you're feeling at this time. Very energetic. Some of y'all feel like you look good. Some of y'all have been working out. Some of y'all have been doing things, taking major steps. These are action steps. The King of wands is very action oriented. Now, also this could be uh, a person in your life. So I'm going to flip over these other two cards that jumped out. What is it about this King of wands that Gemini needs to know? I haven't seen them yet. This one, the judgment card, and then the Hierophant, Gemini, two major arcanas along with a, a person of major status. So some of you guys have a, like a graduation going on. Like you started off as the king of wands, right? You did what you were called to do. You were faithful over the small things. So now you graduated, you went to judgment. They say, Hey, guess what, Gemini? We like what you did there. Now your assignment is even greater. And now we're moving you to a new position. So you're going from the king to the hierophant, from the we can, you know, go to that person and that person to help us to now, whoa, that person is the master. That person is the guru. That person, whoa, we might want to come with some more respect. Okay. It's like, it's one thing when you, when you meet the deacon, but when you meet the reverend, you, you get a little bit more respect. Okay. So for some of you guys, again, the judgment has come in. You have passed your test for some of y'all. You don't know this yet. You have passed your test and the tip of the iceberg that people got to see was you as the king but the underneath part the spiritual part the spiritual ranking it has raised and now it will begin to show why you cannot be moved why you cannot be shaken because it's not just a position you put yourself in it's the position that was vote you were voted in by the heavens okay so you're getting an upgrade right now you're being seen in a new light at this time. All right. But let's talk about something behind the scenes that Gemini has no idea about. What is Gemini not aware of at this time? 
The Ace of Cups. Okay, so there's a brand new refreshing emotional system being put in place. Uh, some of you guys need to do nervous system regulation or nervous system. You're getting a reset where you're really learning how to uh, process and flush out old emotions so that this new level of emotional intelligence can really take root within you. Okay. Um, you're learning how to uh, process again, things that are old that you don't need. And a lot of you all have already done that in the background. Or some of y'all have passed a major test emotionally. You were tested in that area. And now the heavens have granted you a new system, okay? Things that you used to cry about, you ain't gonna cry about no more. Things that used to hurt you, ain't gonna hurt you no more. Things that used to bring you pain will now bring you joy or bring you profit. And you are going to have feelings and emotions that you never experienced before. Can you imagine that? Um, they say that outside of our eye spectrum, there are colors that we have never seen that we can't even imagine. You know what I'm saying? Like there are colors that we can't even think of. Right. And there are a, a range of emotions as well. But I feel like for some of you guys, you're about to tap into something for the very first time and feel a sensation that ain't never been felt before. And you're going to be able to use that to capitalize, to monetize and set up generations. Okay. Let's see what's working for you. What's, what's happening with Gemini. You know what? First of all, before we even move on, okay. This ace of cups, I want to clarify because it could be romance. You guys have gotten over the past. You've healed the past. And this is just the tip of the iceberg ace, just the beginning of what could be a very, very deep and meaningful relationship. So let's talk about this ace of cups. I just want to clarify real quick. Ooh, the five of swords. So you're getting over some type of betrayal and there have been people in your life who have done sneaky things. They were kind of just looking out for themselves and you may have people who want to start over. You're going to learn a new level of forgiveness as well. Maybe that's the new sensation. You don't know, like, huh, I'm going to forget that person. I never forget him. And then one day you actually get over it. So in this scenario, um, this friend called this friend out to go to a singing gig. She said, okay, cool. I'm there. She spent her gas money to get there. She put on her brand new outfit. She, uh, bought a brand new lace front. She got a hair done, her nails done everything right she spent a lot of money to be with this girl at the event she gets to the event she sings she sweat a weave off she break a heel but they had an amazing performance then the the guy gives her a twenty five hundred dollar check but the friend who spent all that money to get there and then did all that she didn't give her nothing and so now the friend is sitting there looking like dang now i did all that you can't even give me a dollar so it's every man for himself but the girl whole thing is listen I never told you you was getting paid. Nobody told you to go spend money on a new outfit. Nobody told you to woo, 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 woo. Okay. So she feels like she has a point because, you know, and this is to me what I'm getting. Um, you're learning how to recognize those things and move on. You're healing from betrayal and you're learning how to catch those things from the beginning so that you don't even have to go down. You seen the character. That's just the tip of the iceberg. If she will let you spend all your money and not even give you a dollar after getting $2,500 for the gig and her only excuse is, well, I ain't tell you you was getting paid. That's just the tip of the iceberg. That person will betray you so heavy and so hard. They'll leave you in another country by yourself in jail and won't even go home and tell your people. You're like, oh, well, she'll be all right. That's just the tip of the iceberg of how grimy somebody might be. So watch out for contracts. Watch out for people who come in love bombing you. I don't know who that's for, but I feel like somebody about to get love bombed and you thinking that it's going to be something and that person just doing that. So later on down the line, you could be crazy over them. Okay. But you're learning how to catch these things. Wow. That took a turn. My God, these cards want to jump out. I'm going to take them. Let me see what we talking about. Mm, 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 mm. Well, the eight of coins, workplace environment type energy, but I just say they was going to a gig. And this eight of coins is like somebody making money. They want to partner with you. Gemini is just the tip of the iceberg. If they handle business and treat friends and families weird, family members weird, you might want to be careful. Okay. Watch who you go into business with. Watch who you're working with. People see you as just the tip of the iceberg, but they know that there is more to you than meets the eye. And they want to get to that because they know it's probably lucrative. Got some money attached to it. Five of wands. This is somebody jealous. Somebody, again, it's the same, it's the same energy. These 
fives. Okay. Five of wands, five of um, swords. This is jealous, envious energy. Wow. And the, the reason why this is turning for me is because it's like, I was under the impression that people didn't understand that iceberg, the tip of the iceberg. And then they look, oh, there goes some confirmation underneath the surface. So behind the scenes, somebody has gone beneath your surface and they see what you have. It's kind of like if I came to your house, right? We cool. We wonderful. We cool. And then I went into your bedroom and I went into your closet and I saw a safe or I went under your, your, uh, bed and I saw a shoe box. So I went into your closet and I saw something in the back that looked real valuable, like a treasure chest filled with gold. I don't know. And you know, so now I know. So that's one thing you need to know. Somebody knows something about you or something that you have that they haven't told you that they know. Hey, I saw the safe in your closet. Hey, I saw your, uh, yo pew pew in the other room, you know, like they know somebody knows something that you have that you don't you necessarily want them to know that you have. Wow. This is taking a turn. Okay. Wow. Okay. So you need to know that. So if somebody coming in love bombing or want to be all pushing up on you close to you, just be careful. Okay. Just be careful. Ain't nothing scary. Ain't nothing. No need to be alarmed. God got you. What is it that you got? That's good for you. This card jumps out. What is it that's good for you that you need to know that's on the up and up? That's positive. <sighs> it's just the tip of the iceberg. And it's only a matter of time. That's the world card, Gemini. So something about like your story or your face or your name or your gift, your skill, your talent, your project, whatever it is, is worldwide or has the ability to be. If you released something and the people in the community saw it, that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you um, decided to, you know, like how you put on, I'm saying somebody put on an outfit. Oh, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Cause now you're about to add this and now you're about to add that and the razzle dazzle. Okay. You're going to do your hair. There goes some more confirmation. You finna do the, the hair, the makeup, the whatever goes with it. It's like, it's something that goes with it. It's not just about what you can see or what's right there in front of you. It's about what's lurking beneath the surface. Cause I'm even seeing somebody walking somewhere with a plain white t-shirt on and some blue jeans. But you have this world vibration type energy. Okay. Some of y'all are about to glow up. Some of y'all about to enter the room gliding. Let's see what's not working though. Like what do you need to get rid of? Who do you need to get rid of? What vibration do you need to be aware of that's around? The page of wands. This is just a low vibrational petty betty energy. Kind of like the same he thing here. Small snide remarks. Don't pay them any mind at, at, at the time. Okay. Now, both of these young ladies are beautiful. We're not comparing who's pretty, who's not. They're both beautiful, but one of them is just on a different level than the other. Okay. Now this can also be, um, how it is. Like you may feel like the page or whatever. So you need to get in the vibration of knowing your own iceberg. You have only seen yourself as the page. You have only known yourself to be the page. You have only experienced life or achievements as the page, but little do you know, you got that world-class energy. It's just the tip of the iceberg. It's not about what you see before you right now. It's about the faith of knowing who you were called to be and then actually taking those small steps that lead to large accomplishments later on. You got that fire. You got that energy. Maybe maybe you're the only one. Because imagine you're the iceberg tip that's above the water. Maybe you can't see underneath the water to see how big you really are. Okay. So I'm here to tell you, you big baby. Let's see what's, um, what's the outcome. All right. Let's talk about the next seven days, but a Gemini collective next seven days. Ooh. And that's your car too. That's the, the lovers. Okay. So, okay. Remember when I was talking to you about this ace of cups, what you don't see coming, right? What's behind the scenes. That's that. Love or information, I told you. 
Now, for a lot of you guys, this is a brand new beginning in love. You've gotten past all the backstabbing, betrayal from the past, and now you get a brand new thing to start over. Remember I told you that judgment, you've passed some type of test. So maybe all of the way that you handled things in the past when it came to love, romance, emotions, maybe you mastered all those things. The heavens have judged you and said, you know what? Okay, now they deserve an upgrade. Now that they've learned those, less those lessons from the past, now that we've re-regulated their emotional intelligence system, um, now they get to experience something different. And for some of you guys, this is the love of your life. This is somebody really coming in doing the right thing. But also I do want to remind you, I just want to, I ain't trying to spoil nothing beautiful. Okay. I just want you to be aware. Uh, there's somebody here and it could be an ex trying to come back uh, with some love bombing energy. Okay. So don't let somebody come in and just all of a sudden be able to just grab you and snatch you up immediately. Like, uh, make sure, just make sure. Okay. Don't let nobody come back in with that energy, okay? I do wanna just see the bottom of the deck though. What do we got? Page of coins. There's still something about uh, some type of growth. It's like page of coins, the small guy, humble beginnings, uh, starting things from one level, but then ending up somewhere else, okay? This page of coins also may be telling you you could take some type of class. There's some type of assistance or you may need an, ascent, uh, uh, an assistant or some type of apprentice. This is telling me don't be afraid to ask for help. There's someone who you can hire. There's someone who's willing to help you, even if it's just a little bit or part-time, okay? There's somebody around you who can help. Also, this may be a child, so you may you may be getting ready to experience something with someone else who has a child, or maybe you and this person will be creating this child, okay? But that's what I get for you, Geminis. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you guys let me know in the comment section how this resonates with you. Share this video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next one.